Today, I am going to solve a problem on oxycope rearrangement and its stereochemistry. You can find this problem in CHR NET exam 2015 December. Here is the problem. When this allylic alcohol or 1,5-diene, it is treated with potassium hydride in diglyme as solvent at 110 degrees C, what is the product? Here are the given options. First one, epoxide has been formed, that is OME here that acts as living group and the OH it displaces that. The second one, there is change in the carbon skeleton. The carbon instead of this portion it has come here. So that is rearrangement. Third one, it is almost same but only the stereochemistry of this double bond is different. Here it is Z olefin, here it is E olefin. Fourth one, again it is rearrangement, the carbon skeleton is same. The only difference here it is Z olefin, here it is E olefin. The stereochemistry it is same. But here it is different, it is trans, hydrogen and the methyl they are trans. Now, which one of these options is correct? In order to solve this, you should know co rearrangement. And its stereochemistry. Or you can say transient state. Second one, you should know to assign R and S configuration for this compound. Now, let us go to the given compound and assign RS configuration. This is the given compound. What is the configuration of this center and this center? There are two chiral centers. What are the configuration? R or S? Here, the first priority goes to OH. Second one goes to this one. Since the next atom it is oxygen, this gets higher priority. And the third one, this one, because there are there is double bond. So this gets third priority, fourth one this methyl. Now it is clockwise direction. So this carbon gets R configuration. What about this? There is hydrogen which gets thick line. That means it is above the plane of the paper. Now if you give the priority, the first priority goes to this one, second priority, this one, third, this double bond. Now it goes in anti-clockwise direction. Since the least priority, that is hydrogen, it is on the top. You have to just reverse that. So this also R. Now, you may know that the co rearrangement goes through a cyclic chair conformation transient state. That is, so this is six member cyclic chair transient state. Now I have to place the groups in that. So that the stereochemistry of this carbon and this carbon is same as it is in the starting material. Now first I focus on this, that is this carbon, this double bond. Since it is E olefin, I make like this. Here this 
olefin it is z olefin so i make like this and here there are two positions now i have to place this oh here or here whether i have to place the oh here or here if you know this configuration of this center it will be very useful for that since it is r configuration here here also it should be r for that i place oh here and ome this side so oh it gets higher priority second one here and third one for this double bond so the stereochemistry it will be r so i have to place this oh in equatorial position and this makes a ring next one whether to place ome on the axial or equatorial position once i have fixed this one it will be easy for me since the stereochemistry between this and this it is trans i have to place the ome trans to the oh in one two position equatorial equatorial or trans so i have placed ome the equatorial because it is trans and the hydrogen here i can give configuration for this and i can check whether whatever i have done that is correct or not for example higher priority first one second third since i need to look view from here it will be r so it is correct now this compound undergoes 3 3 sigma trophic rearrangement upon heating that is called cope rearrangement this bond is broken and it goes like this this double bond makes a bond here this double bond migrates here so what i get is double bond here oh then one bond has been formed like this here there is methyl on the top hydrogen then there is double bond here ome like this here in this there is one more hydrogen like this now since it is enol i can write the keto form it will become ketone this olefin it is e olefin trans what about the stereochemistry of these two hydrogens or the hydrogen and methyl in the problem they are focused on the double bond at ome this one whether it is cis or trans from the transition state i got trans stereochemistry so this and this are possible next one what will be the stereochemistry between this hydrogen and methyl let us check here the hydrogen and methyl they are equatorial equatorial one to position equatorial and equatorial it is trans so the hydrogen and methyl should be trans in the product so the given the given option you can see here only hydrogen in the, the third option hydrogen and methyl they are trans so this is the answer here it is cis so this is not possible this is not possible because here the olefin it is z as well as the stereochemistry it is cis and this product it is not at all possible because ome is not a living group now the question is what is the role of kh in this reaction 
what is the role of KH? Generally, Cope reaction it is thermal reaction at very high temperature. The temperature may be around 200 and above. At that temperature, it undergoes 3-3 sigma trophic rearrangement. When I add potassium hydride, the temperature is 110 degrees C. That means I can lower the temperature by using potassium hydride. What happens? This potassium hydride takes this proton. It is somewhat acidic, so that is taken by potassium hydride. Then anion is generated. The anion falls here, then it accelerates the rate of the reaction. So that's the role of KH to lower down the temperature. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.